hello viewers welcome to the channel in this video we create a simple and beautiful model using three or paints of free cut we'll use the part design or paint to design this star this part here and also this part we'll use a draft or paint to scale this part here creating these three leaves and the part or paint to make a fusion of these all parts so I hope you like this video and if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel and also if you want to support the channel, you can do that. Just go to the description of this video and you'll find a link to my Ko-Fi page. Thank you and let's design this model. First here we need to create a new document. So click here in this icon to create a new document. And now let's change to the part design workbench. Okay. We are in the part design of bench now and the first thing that we'll do is to design these parts here so let's do that first create a new sketch clean this icon this icon here will create a body and also a sketch select exit print okay and now go to sketch uh, geometries these tools here and select this tool all line tool click here in this icon and next draw this vertical line this line this horizontal line and now this line here and now we go to these tools here and we select this tool constraint distance tool click on this line here and set a length of seven okay and this line here will set a length of two millimeters Okay, and now the distance between this origin point to this point, let's set 12. Okay, and now escape and drag this point here, this way. And select again this tool, constraint distance tool. And now select these two points. And set a distance of 8 millimeters, set 8. And as you can see, this sketch now is full constrained, as you can see here. So now we can leave this sketch, no problem. Click here in this icon. And press on and now what you do is to create a revolution of the sketch so what you need to do now is to select this edge here and then revolution tool press home and as you can see here we have these parts here so click OK and the next thing that we do is to create a denton plane here so clicking this icon here to create a denton plane and now now we need to set the attachment of this plane here so the first thing that we'll do is to select this vertex here select this vertex and then select this edge here okay and now to skype this this problem here what you need to do is to select this alignment here Okay, and now if we change to the front view here, what we'll see will be the spring here attached in this in this edge here. So now press home and click OK. And the next thing that we'll do is to create a, a sketch in the spring here. Click in this plane and create a new sketch. Okay. And next thing that we'll do is to extract this circular edge of this part here. Select external jump tool and extract this edge. As you can see, it's not possible. For me, it's not possible. So what I will do, so what I will do is to press on. And as you can see, it's not possible. So now I press Alt and I rotate this model and I extract this edge here switch to the full view clicking this icon and now extract this edge and press on as you can see here we have these two circular edges here so now close this sketch and hide this denton plane here select this plane and spacebar and now double click in this sketch select arc tool click in this horizontal line and draw this Okay, and next select line 2, draw this line in these two points here. 
okay and next here we'll set the size of the sketch here and also the placement select this tool here no first select this tool click in this arc and set a resolve four millimeters okay and next select this tool here constrain horizontal and now select this point and this center point here and let's set a distance of seven now this point and this point here and set five millimeters okay as you can see this sketch is full constrained let's leave this sketch press sketch two times okay and now let's create a pocket using this sketch here select pocket tool and as you can see here we have this pocket so click ok and the next let's create a fillet in these two edges here select this edge and control select this edge here and now fillet tool let's set a resolve one no problem click ok and the next thing to do is to create a polar array of this pocket and this fillet so what you need to do is to go to the model tape and here you need to select the pocket first and then the fillet control and select the fillet and now select this tool here all up button tool okay the first thing that we need to change here is the axis of this operation so click here and select the z axis okay now as you can see we have two pockets here let's change the currency here to six as you can see now we have these all pockets and fillets so click ok now okay now we have our first parts okay click here and make a double click and the next thing that we'll do is to scale these parts here creating these creating these three leaves here so now let's change the workbench click here change to the draft workbench okay and the first thing that i like to do is to hide this grid here i don't like to work with this grid so i click in this icon to hide these all grids okay and now let's scale this object first we need to select the body in the tree view and then we go to this tool here scale tool click in this icon here we'll press enter three times okay and now this option here must be checked create a clone okay so now let's change these values here for example in the x vector i will set 1.5 and here in the y vector i will set 1.7 and here i will set 1.8 and enter Okay, as you can see, I have two, I have two parts here. Okay, so now what what we'll do is to change the placement of this clone here. Select this clone and go to base placement and position. Here we'll change the value of the Z position to minus ten. Okay, and enter. Now as you can see, we have this. Okay, and now let's create another scale of this body here. Select the body in the tree view and now scale tool. Press enter three times. Okay, and now let's change the X vector to two. Set two here and here we'll set 2.3. Okay, and click OK now. And again, let's change the placement of this object so what we'll do is to go to the base placement position and z position here we'll change to minus 19 okay and also we'll rotate this model 45 degrees no here will be zero we'll rotate this model to minus 45 degrees okay and now let's create another scale of this body select the body in the review go to scale tool press enter three times and change here to three and 
now click OK. Select this last body and now we go to placement position and the position. Here we'll set minus 36 and enter. Okay, and now we rotate this model, we rotate this body minus 45 degrees. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, now we have these four leaves here and any modifications in the spot here will be reflected in these all clones. So let's see, let's see that. Double click in this body. Okay, and go to the model. Okay. So for example, let's try, let's add the chamfer operation in this edge here. Select this edge and now chamfer two. Okay, let's change the, the size of this chamfer to 0 0.3. Okay, and click OK. Okay, as you can see, we we created a chamfer operation in this body and the operation was reflected was reflected in these all clones. Okay, so okay, now let's make a fusion of these all parts here. Change here to part of bench. Now select these all bodies, these all objects, and select union two. Okay, now we have this one part here, fusion part. And next, let's change to the part design workbench and create a body and a new sketch. This sketch here, for this sketch, let's select XZ plane. Okay, and now, and now select rectangle tool and draw this rectangle in this way. Select constraint distance tool. Set six millimeters for this horizontal line here. And the distance between this line to this, the distance between this point to this point here, let's add 10 millimeters. And from this point to this origin point, let's add 55 and then close this sketch and now select revolution tool okay click ok now okay so now i have this part here okay and now let's create let's design this star here go to the document and create another body and a new sketch let's select exit plane for this sketch and now we go to sketch our geometries and here we need to click here and select this tool. And now click in this vertical line and and draw this and draw this sketch in this way and now escape and select this all sketch here and let's change this all lines to construction lines so click here in this icon okay and this icon must be a construction line click here and now let's hide these all constraints and select all line tool okay and next draw this sketch Okay, now we have this sketch here, and next thing that we'll do is to make these all lines here of this star equals. Okay, select these all lines of this star in this way. Okay, and now equal constraint. Okay, in this way, and now as you can see, we have one degree of freedom here. So we have to constrain this dimension here. Select horizontal distance tool, click in this line here and set the length of 6. Okay, and now select vertical distance tool and this center point here, or we can select this point and this origin point and we'll set a distance of 11 and let's close this sketch now 
and now let's make extrusion of this sketch select pad tool let's set 2.5 millimeters and smart to plane let's set 2 millimeters here and smart to plane and then ok ok and now create a new sketch let's select twice the plane here select rectangle tool and now click on this origin point and draw this rectangle select constraint distance tool select this line here and set the distance of 0 0.5 and this line here set one millimeters and then close this sketch okay and now we'll change the attachment of this sketch select this sketch and click on mouse and select attachment editor click here this button and select this edge okay and normal to edge okay in this way and okay and now we select this sketch here and we go to additive pipe tool now we select this we click in this option we click in this button to edit this all edge click here and select this edge and this select this all edge Okay, now we selected this all edge and and we need to change the corner transition here to ring corner. Select this option and now it's okay. Click OK. And now let's mirror this active active pipe operation. Select this operation and mirror tool. Okay, here we'll select axi plane change the plane to axi plane and you will see this click ok ok and now we have this design finished ok so now what we can do is to change the brilliance of these uh, parts here to look like this part here so let's do that first let's rename these all parts here for example, this part here will be then click on mouse and select rename. This part here will rename to star. Okay, let's add the previous of these all parts. So now select these all parts and then click on mouse and go to appearance option change here to plastic material okay and also decrease these values and uh, let's change shape color here to for example this color here and okay okay and now let's set the color of this star here select this line and go to shape color let's change to this color here and okay and now select this part go to shape color change here to for example this color here and okay and now close this panel okay and as you can see now we have these all parts with this colors okay so it's okay we finish the design of this model thank you for watching this video if you like this video please leave a like a comment and share this video with your friends and if you want to support the channel there's a link in the description of this video to my coffee page